U.S. copies Chinese HQ-22 missile to train pilots for intense real-world combat. In a significant development for defense industry and military preparedness, a U.S. company has successfully created a surrogate and exact replica of the Chinese HQ-22 surface-to-air missile system. This surrogate model, created by Torch Technologies Integration and Prototyping Center, is intended to support the U.S. Air Force and Allied Forces in studying, training against, and developing countermeasures for one of China's most advanced medium to long-range air defense systems. The HQ-22, known by NATO as the CHSA-20 and also exported as the FK-3, is a modern Chinese SAM system designed by Jiangnan Space Industry, part of China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation Limited CASIC. It represents a key advancement from earlier Chinese air defenses like the HQ-12 and HQ-2, with enhanced range, guidance technologies, and multi-target engagement capabilities. This isn't the first instance of the U.S. Air Force incorporating a replica of a Chinese surface-to-air missile system into its training program. Back in July, the service publicly unveiled a surrogate HQ-16 target vehicle designed to enhance advanced pilot training. The mock system was displayed at the Experimental Aircraft Association's annual air venture show at Whitman Regional Airport in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The HQ-22 missile system features mobile, truck-mounted launchers typically consisting of four missiles each, mounted on heavy 8x8 wheeled vehicles. Each battery usually comprises multiple launchers and a multifunction radar system, notably the H-200 radar, capable of tracking and engaging up to six targets simultaneously with 12 missiles in flight provision. The missiles themselves have a range generally reported between 100 to 150 kilometers, capable of intercepting aircraft, helicopters, drones, and cruise missiles at altitudes from as low as 50 meters up to about 27,000 meters. Guidance is achieved through a dual method. For the early phase, command radio guidance directs the missile via ground systems, shifting to semi-active radar homing, specifically tracked by a missile TVM mode in the terminal phase. This combined guidance improves the missile's resistance to electronic countermeasures and enhances accuracy against agile or stealthy targets. The missiles are launched at an angle, inclined launch from transport launch containers, facilitating rapid reload and protected storage during transport. The launcher vehicles feature self-contained power systems and are built on platforms with significant cross-country mobility and an operational range of up to 800 kilometers. The H-200 radar uses a digitally controlled phased array antenna, allowing rapid beam steering and simultaneous tracking slash guidance of multiple threats, enhancing battlefield situational awareness and engagement efficiency. The HQ-22 system was publicly unveiled at the 2016 China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition and entered service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force around 2019. It was designed to replace older, less capable systems and to offer China a cost-effective but highly capable medium to long-range air defense layer comparable in function to US Patriot or Russian S-300 missile systems, though with some operational differences and advantages in electronic warfare resistance. Notably, the export variant FK-3 has been sold internationally, Serbia received FK-3 batteries in 2019, marking one of the first sales of Chinese long-range air defense systems to a European country. In 2019, Serbia placed an order for the FK-3 system. In 2020, U.S. officials warned Belgrade against purchasing Chinese missile systems, stating that for Serbia to pursue membership in the EU and other Western alliances, it would need to align its military equipment with Western standards. These countries feared that the FK-3's advanced phased array radar could detect all NATO aircraft activities near Serbia. The delivery of the FK-3 was completed in 2022 through a large-scale airlift operation using Chinese Y-20 transport planes, marking it as the largest shipment of Chinese weapons to Europe. Serbia's Ministry of Defense has announced that the country's airspace control and protection capabilities have been significantly improved with the integration of the Chinese FK-3 air defense missile system. This advanced system, which is an export variant of China's HQ-22 surface-to-air missile system, is a major upgrade for the Republic of Serbia's air force and air defense. In a press release published on December 30, the ministry said that the FK-3 air defense system provides advanced protection for Serbia's skies. The system includes a command center vehicle, missile launchers, radar systems, and logistics support vehicles, creating a comprehensive air defense network. It is designed for high mobility, ensuring rapid deployment and flexibility in various operational conditions. 
According to the US-based think tank, similar to the HQ-22, the FK-3 is said to reach a top speed of Mach 6, although its maximum range is shorter than the HQ-22. Both the FK-3 and HQ-22 systems typically include a radar vehicle and three launch vehicles, each capable of carrying four interceptor missiles. Additionally, the FK-3 is designed to resist electronic countermeasures and function effectively in high-jamming environments. The system relies on 8x8 vehicles, each transporting four vertically launched missiles. China asserts that the FK-3 is the world's only air defense missile to feature a dual-mode guidance system, combining command plus semi-active radar homing guidance with full-course command guidance. This technology allows the FK-3 to deliver high accuracy at both long and short ranges while being highly resistant to interference. After the FK-3 system was delivered in 2022, Chinese experts suggested that certain Western nations had initiated a smear campaign against Serbia, driven by concerns over the possible deployment of a Chinese-made air defense system in Europe. These countries feared that the FK-3's advanced phased array radar could detect all NATO aircraft activities near Serbia. The newly developed surrogate model by the US firm mimics the physical appearance, radar signature, and operational features of the HQ-22 system. While it is not an operational weapon, it serves as a realistic training target and intelligence tool, enabling U.S. operators and defense analysts to better understand the capabilities, operational patterns, and vulnerabilities of the system. Such surrogate systems play a critical role in preparing air crews and missile defense personnel for potential engagements by providing live or simulated training with realistic enemy air defense emulation. The surrogate assists in testing tactics, countermeasures, electronic warfare techniques, and avionics designed to overcome Chinese air defense layers. According to defense experts, the HQ-22's layered radar and missile engagement zones are sophisticated, presenting a challenge that the U.S. Air Force seeks to replicate and eventually counter effectively through enhanced electronic and kinetic solutions.